Woo! Hey everyone, this is Jared from Daily Crypto Trade Series coming to you live from Asia, guys. Big, big freaking bounce could be happening soon, guys. And it looks like all the stars are, are lining and we could be seeing a big, big bounce uh, sooner than later. We did see, we are seeing that Bitcoin is still holding pretty strong, just above 28,200. Uh, however, we did see that most of the old coins did have a little bit of dump dumpage out there uh, but we are seeing that uh, bitcoin is still holding strong so we're going to be talking about that much much more we're going to talk about a big big bounce that's coming we're going to be talking about uh, some of the ta and of course dogecoin what's going on with dogecoin and elon musk also thinks that there's a big big huge bounce coming soon guys and gals so remember none of this is financial advice just an og in the house expressing my opinion I'm not a licensed financial advisor, guys. So, guys, I love it. You love it. It's time to party. It's time to smash the freaking likes like crazy, guys. It's time to get crazy here. And, guys, let's jump into it without any further delay. It's a great time to be live. And remember, I'm the Ric Flair. Woo! Of crypto in the house coming to you live. Okay, guys, go back and watch all my other videos. I would appreciate it. Uh, we did see that yesterday the uh, U.S. markets were pretty much down pretty much flat. Uh, we did see that uh, consumer spending did increase a little bit. Uh, and, you know, we're just living in a weird and wacky world right now because anytime we have any good economic news, it tends to dump the market. So we're kind of living in like an inverse matrix reality right now uh, out there. And, you know, one of the reasons one of the reasons that we're seeing that, the, you know, the retail sales went up by 0.7 percent, uh, but the reason the Dow went down is because people are thinking that Jeremy Powell is going to increase rate hikes. Absolutely, absolutely, there will be rate hikes out there. And 92% are saying rate hikes. So 1st of November, expect a rate hike, guys. I think it's pretty much baked in. I don't think we're going to see much dumpage, much tankage out there. Let's take a look at the crypto markets overall. We're seeing that everything is down with the exception of Bitcoin. That's holding strong at 28370 So... You know, I've been telling everybody for a very long time on this channel, the best strategy is dollar cost average. Uh, and, and, you know, set a regular buy, not financial advice, is what I'm doing, what I'm doing. You guys don't have to do this. You do whatever you want. You, you do you out there, guys. Smash the freaking likes. Don't forget to subscribe. Why are you not subscribing? Guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Smash the likes like crazy. It's a great time to be live. And, uh, you know, what I do is I dollar cost average. So typically once a week, every Wednesdays, I will dollar cost average. Now, remember, we're heading into Wednesday. Wednesday is a reversal day. So I expect... Uh, Bitcoin to, to go down, I expect the uh, altcoins to go down. So it's a reversal day, so watch out that. Watch out for that. But dollar cost average, guys, definitely you want to do that. We're seeing the DXY is going down. That is good news, good news bears out there. We are seeing right now Bitcoin, uh, let me get rid of all this uh, clutter, clutter. So Bitcoin did pump as high yesterday as 30,000. It stayed up there like, you know, briefly like five minutes. We dumped back down. Uh, and right now we are seeing that Bitcoin is being strong, staying above the 28, 27,900 support level. So we're just kind of going sideways, but you can see that the volumes are pretty light, pretty thin out there. But overall, you're seeing that the old coins are going down. You can see, let me give this a, a minute to refresh. The guys, don't get smashed. Those coins one one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Feel the heartbeat. Feel alive, guys. Uh, we remember, look at look at the dominance. Bitcoin dominance is, is doing well. Like I said, because overall, you're seeing that Bitcoin is still in positive territory on the weekly where most of the old coins are down. Uh, BNB is an exception. Speaking about BNB and Binance, it looks like Binance has uh, stopped all of its USD withdrawals in the US out there and also suspended some accounts that have been suspected of uh, terrorist funding um, to Hamas, guys. So watch out for that. So that's happening. Uh, should you be worried uh, about uh, Binance um, shutting down entirely globally? I don't know at this point. I don't think so. Uh, still, the amount of, uh, you know, the, the TVL is still pretty high, guys. Let's take a look. You can see that Binance TVL is still pretty, pretty, pretty high. $56 billion worth. Uh, majority of the holdings is USDT, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about it right now. Let's keep an eye on that. But once again, if you want to be safe, the only way you can be safe is get a hardware wallet. Go down there, check out the link, guys and uh, transfer most of your crypto onto hardware wallet. So, you know, most of my crypto, 99, like 90, 95, 99% is on a hardware wallet, guys. Uh, that way I don't care, that way I don't care. But the key thing is if you do have a hardware wallet, you're gonna need some way to off-ramp your crypto 
uh, so you can turn it to cash and deposit, right? So that's why alternatively, I have at least three different on-ramps because you know I, I, I have you know Luno in the UK as a as an off-ramp, but you know they're going through some regulatory crap over there, so that's done. I got an off-ramp in Bangkok, got an off-ramp here in Vietnam. So a lot of ways to off-ramp your, your off-ramp stuff, guys. So make sure you have more than one or two ways to off-ramp. Also, crypto.com, I can off-ramp there too. So that's what I do. That's what you should do. Uh, make sure you have uh, alternative off-ramps. Guys, let's take a look at the Bitcoin fear and greed. Guys, big bounce is coming. We're going to be talking about that in a second. So we're neutral now. Sentiment is going up. Remember, sentiment does drive markets, guys. And we're seeing that October so far, thank goodness, thank goodness, is at 5.33%. So up, October, it's October, guys. It's October. Uh, let's take a look at Doge. Doge right now is at 0588. Uh, eight, positive. And uh, we are seeing that the bears and the bulls are fighting it out. Like I said, Bitcoin is pretty stable, but we are seeing that most of all coins are taking a hit. Uh, we're seeing pretty much a similar kind of thing happening as well uh, for uh, Shiba Inu as well. Shiba Inu also, also has taken some hits as well. Uh, Shiba Inu did bounce above support, got rejected, and pretty much kind of the same thing is going on for Doge as it is going on for all of the old coins out there. So the old coins are not looking good at all, at all. Ethereum. And get rid of the clutter same kind of situation it keeps banging itself against this downward uh, resistance level uh and uh, if we don't break out of that then we could definitely be hitting about 1500 bucks guys so the old coins are not looking good we're seeing bitcoin dollars going up so eh, it's scary guys it's scary it's absolutely scary out there uh also too guys remember the amount of whales the, the amount of addresses holding at least 10 bitcoins has passed all-time highs that was previously set in 2019 so we're still seeing that large money Big money is still accumulating. And remember, Larry Fink from BlackRock did say, get your carcasses into Bitcoin, guys. So what's going on in terms of uh, the latest breaking? You know, Dogecoin, big bounce coming soon. Get ready. Get prepared. Here we go. So I think, you know, Elon Musk is going to be a huge catalyst for Dogecoin. And we need him to come out and say something, to be something, to do something. And don't forget, we got Dogecoin X coming uh, 15th uh, to 20th of November. That's just like, that's weeks away, literally weeks away, guys. And don't forget, we got the Dogecoin tippy jar integration. We're still waiting on that. Uh, also, guys, this is official. Justin um, Cointelegraph apologizes after falsely announcing that BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF was approved by SEC. So a lot of YouTubers, a lot of influencers didn't do their research and they started spreading fake information out there. And that resulted in a lot of reversals, guys. So you can see that basically, uh, you know, we can see that a big, Wednesday's after reversal day, expect lower prices structure for Bitcoin and then a big bounce. So we can see that Bitcoin at 30K only for five minutes just wrecked all short. So a lot of people got short. Over 200 million were gone, guys. Gone, gone, gone. That's 50, 41,000 traders uh, got liquidated. And that was all because of this fake, fake, wrong news about the ETF, guys. So that's what happened, guys. Big bounce is coming, guys. Some some people call it uh, some people call it a double top. Others label it as distribution out there. But I believe that you know we had this huge consolidation for a while. I believe that we're going to have a breakout, and we, this is going to be part of this whole continuation pad. And we're definitely going to be seeing ourselves back up to forty thousand, guys. Big bounce coming, guys. Absolutely big bounce. Uh, and this is from uh, this is from Titan of Crypto, and I believe this is pure wisdom. Uh, you know, pure wisdom here, sentiment will drive markets. Sentiment absolutely will drive market. And when sentiment reaches all-time highs, prices will have a big bounce. So, guys, sentiment is a vital part of market structure, guys. And not only for crypto, but for everything out there. And you guys can see here, look, sentiment is a vital aspect of uh, financial markets. Cryptocurrency is no exception. It involves the perspective that runs counter to prevailing market sentiment. So, we're going to start to see as the sentiment goes up, we are going to see more and more FOMO. When we see more FOMO, guys, we are definitely going to be seeing more and more uh, people in, uh, into into Bitcoin, and that's going to create more liquidity. That's going to generate more liquidity. And once we have this spot ETF, guys, it's going to be insane. Uh, community, this is your last chance to buy Bitcoin after these prices. Big bounce coming soon. So, guys, I still believe that we're in a huge, huge accumulation zone. This is the best accumulation zone, in my opinion, of financial advice. Last opportunity to buy now, guys. Accumulate before the big freaking monster bounce that's coming. Don't miss out, guys. Don't miss out. Uh, this is also important, guys. This is from uh, CryptoCon. 
and he's saying, look, older Bitcoin, big, older Bitcoin spiked up in activity strangely around the same time every year. And we're just seeing now a huge spike, a huge spike right now in older Bitcoins. So older Bitcoins right now have spiked. And every time that happens, that's often a huge signal that a bull run is coming. Big bounce, guys. Big freaking bounce is coming, guys. Do not sleep on Dogecoin. Do not sleep on Shiba Inu, guys. Big bounce is coming. Remember, Larry Frank, yesterday, he did talk about this. Let me just rewind. We did talk about this. Beyond the rumor. I think the, the rally today is about a flight to quality with all the, you know, all the issues around the Israeli war now, um, global terrorism. And I think there's more people running into a fight, the quality, whether that is in treasuries, gold, or crypto, depending on how you think about it. And I believe crypto will play that type of role as a flight to quality. This rally is way So there's Larry Fink saying way. crypto and Bitcoin is the next flight to security, next flight to everything out there, guys. And uh, guys, don't sleep on Bitcoin. Uh, do not sleep on Bitcoin at all. Uh, if you do that, you guys, it's not good, guys. So guys, remember, do uh, go and uh, go to my Twitter and don't forget to, to, to follow, subscribe, like, smash the likes, guys. So this is the OG. Uh, that's all I got. Be blessed. Be well. Peace out.